Okay, Jerome, I told you I'll do a video for uh, just a tip information video on this game because you seemed interested in it. And we played a lot of Deep Rock back in the day. So it says here I played 10 hours, which isn't exactly true because I've left my computer on and had the game running. I probably played 6 to 7. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good game so far. Uh, for me, it's been a frustrating game. You know me, I'm not a very good gamer. Um, sorry about tanks, it's in the background. Hopefully you can't hear it. Um, so I, I, ha I haven't actually passed a level yet. I've got like two out of three stars, as you can see Caverns, there. Two out of three. I've come close to defeating the boss, but I haven't. Anyway, so my hints and tips. I guess the only way to show you is milestones. Milestones are like things, like you complete these milestones and you unlock an item. This game is the epiphany, is that the word to use? Of a mobile phone game. It, it is very mobile phone game, but it's not, it's on a computer. I don't know if a mobile phone can handle this game because even my, well I mean it's not the best computer, it's an all-in-one computer. But, even this can struggle to run it when it gets too many bad guys. But, um, so the more you play, Oh, first of all, number one, when you get a weapon, okay, I'll get, I'll get a weapon. Classic scout. Okay. Wait. Okay, I hit record. Okay, so I leveled up. Now, theoretically, you wouldn't have these extra little dots here. As soon as you unlock a weapon, and if you like it, I would suggest if you like it, but as soon as you unlock a weapon, stick with that weapon and level the dots all the way up to the top because if you don't do that you're missing out of the the, the weapon itself like yeah it, it, I don't know how to explain it get all these dots to the top on a new weapon and then once you do the once you do that you unlocked you unlock the um, what do you call it on the Xbox the um you know you got the hammer and you blacksmith like a like a upgrade like an I think it's called an overdrive Anyway, you, you know what I mean, Jerome. So, as soon as you get a weapon, upgrade it all the way to the top. And then, you'll get a mission completed, which will look like, um, like this. Wait. Yeah, it'll look like this. So, upgrade the jury rigged broomstick to level 12. Once you upgrade it to level 12, you unlock the perks. So, I have to play the game for a little bit. Let me unlock the perk. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I first have to explain this. I'll explain the perk after. So, here is your level. Once you get this across to the other side, you obviously level up, you know, like a video game would. So that's level 5. That's level 1. At level 5, you unlock a new weapon. At level 10, 15, you unlock a new weapon, and at level 25, you unlock a new weapon. Just remember, you unlock weapons at level 1, 5, 15, and 25. Now, here is an example of the perk thing I was talking about. Wait. Ah, there you go. It's called an overclock. That's what they call it on Deep Rock Galactica. So once you've got your gun researched, you can unlock overclocks, and these things like massively improve your weapon. So this one does change the damage to cold, which is good because it freezes enemies and does cold damage. And this one does plus 15 damage, plus 25 reload speed, which is again another good one, because reload speed's a factor in this game. Because this is reloading right now, it's frozen because this is up. but. You know, you shoot all the bullets, it goes down, and then it has to reload. This game actually has, like, reloading, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna pick cold, because I like the cold. Okay, and this is what I was talking about with the perks. So see, you have to get this to level 12. Increase weapon level by 1. So once you've got 12 points, which sometimes you might get lucky, and you might get this, but it might give you 3 points, which would be like a rare, this is a common. Um, so once you get that to 12, you unlock the overclocks. Now, 
you can't use the overclocks until you die. It's like dead cells, like you get items, but you can't really use them unless you die and repeat. So, yes, once, once that's level 12, die, well you don't have to, but if you do die, it then unlocks the overclock. I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you something. I've nearly leveled my grenade up to 12, but once them drop things come down, I actually don't like to use them because they can one hit bosses. Uh, I'll try and do it. You ready? So I'm gonna use the ammo drop, which is here. And oh, I, I want to get the boss in the middle of it. Yep, now. And now I want to do this. And that boss just instantly died. Instantly. So. I don't know if you can kill the final boss with that, because I've never made it. Like, I've made it to the final boss, but I won't ruin it, but he does, like, some powerful attack and always kills me. But any boss that's... possibly any boss, that drop thing will instantly kill it if you can land it on the boss. So you just... I just don't get it. I just wait. And then I wait, and then I wait for the boss, and then I drop it on the boss and just kill the boss one hit. I guess I should describe these artifacts. These artifacts do stuff. It's pretty simple. You just read them. You get a small chance to find XP when you mine a rock. I mean, every time you do a supply drop, you get one of these character buffs. They do help, and they help quite a bit, but they don't, they, they're not really enticing. These ones, like, gain a temporary movement speed buff when you stand still. I first thought, oh, that's stupid. But it's really good. If you stand still and shoot enemies, and then as soon as you need to run away, you go super quick. So it's actually quite useful. So yeah. I guess I should show you this. This is the shop. So the shop's pretty simple. It's a shop. Now, what I've learnt is gold only buys you buffs. Like 10% critical damage, or let's just say 5% uh, more loot, or... Um, 10% uh, more chance to dodge, you know, buffs. That's what gold gets you. And Nitra, or Nitra, or whatever it is, gets you weapon upgrades. So, better reload, better damage. So, yeah, so if you just want just gun upgrades, you have to get the red stuff. But if you want just character upgrades, you have to get the gold stuff. Now, further on down the line, you'll be doing objectives inside objectives you know like collect the flowers like in deep rock collector how you collect flowers you do that in this the objectives only give you gold so technically the objectives only give you buffs if you buy them with the shop now the shop is accessible at the end of each level also uh the shop is pretty valuable so don't waste it like try and save up stuff and then use it because the shop's pretty useful Okay, I died. I didn't make it. But the point is, once you upgrade the gun to level 12, or the grenade in this case, you unlock the ability to have overclocked perks. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, well, really I told you about a way to instant kill the bosses, which is good. Um, try and complete all the objectives and the secondary objectives. All the classes seem pretty well, pretty well thought of. They all pretty good. Um, collect all the minerals that you see in the game because they're all useful. Um, I can't tell you much about the other levels because I've only really stuck on this level. I've been on this level for a long, long time. Um, this is important information, because this all matters, so this is all like your dodge and all that sort of crap, and you can, I guess you can, up for it. you can, I'm gonna sneeze, sorry, I guess you can do it how you want, but this is how I did mine, I first upgraded my damage, because I'm not very good at this game, so I got my damage pretty high, and then I put my reload pretty high, but eventually, you just sort of, you just sort of mine the min minerals, and then you've got to spend them anyway. Like, money is easy in this game. Minerals are the harder part. But then again, if you want... Uh, what's a good example? 
15, 15, 10, 10. I guess that's my best example. Two. Okay. So I need to upgrade my boot to level 3 light. I need 10 of that blue stuff, and I have 9. So I could sell any one of these for 200 gold, and I can buy for 400. So I have lots of this green stuff. So I'm going to sell a green. Now it doesn't tell you you've sold it. You've just sold it straight away. So don't do what I've done when I first played this game and sell everything, realizing if you screw up, you can get it back, because you can't. And then I buy a blue one, and see now I can upgrade it. Now I upgraded it. Yeah, and there's look, there's lots of little stuff in this game. There's lots of stuff you unlock. You unlock characters, and like I said, upgrade every single new gun you got. Because once the gun is upgraded, you then get the overclock stuff, which is the important stuff. Same as the characters. Try and play the characters. Like, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Engineer, which is sad, because it's the one I like on Deep Rock. But try and play every class up to rank 9, I think, because you get stuff. Yeah, yeah, you get stuff for getting rank 9. So try and play every class at least to rank 9. Try and get every weapon you have so you can overclock them. Um, all the other stuff you'll just get normally, like Nitra Scanner 250 or Gold Scanner 250, stuff you'll just get naturally while playing the game. Um, weapons, I think a little bit more, um, like use a certain weapon and kill so many bugs, that sort of thing, um, or overclock certain weapons and, you know, that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's a good game. Um, I'll gift it to you, and uh, we'll play. There's no multiplayer, which absolutely sucks. It's only a single player game, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, Rock and Stone, eh? Rock and Stone. But yeah, it's a good game. Hope, hope, hopefully you like it. Bye. See you, Jerome.